Jose Jesus. Yo, in the previous video, I introduced you to the concept of Yaku and how they are important to actually winning games of Mahjong. In this video, I will show you every single Yaku that you can get. That is not a local Yaku and not a Yakuman. I'm gonna have separate videos for those. Let's start off with the one Han Yaku. So the first one on the list is Gichi, which I talked about on the first video on how to play Mahjong right up here. This is the most important Yaku that you have to know. And you also see on this tab, it says Menzen Shin only. And what Menzen Shin means is close hand. So Dichi is a Yaku that you can only get if you have never taken anyone else's tiles. The reason Dichi is the most important Yaku is that it allows you to win no matter how shabby your hand looks. It is also the only Yaku that opens you up to Ipatsu and Uradora. I'm gonna go over Ipatsu later on in this video, but if you want to learn more about Dora and Uradora, please watch the video up here. Next is Tanya or All Simples. As the name suggests, this is very simple to get because all you need to do is not have any of these tiles. Next is Tsumo or Fully Concealed Hand. Now the way you get this is basically your hand has to be entirely closed and you have to win via Tsumo. So even if you called Reach and you run someone, that's not fully concealed because the tile that you won on is someone else's tile. This Yaku does not require Reach for you to get, but it does require literally every single tile to be your own. Seat Wind is three of your own wind, which you can see in the center of the board right here. And Prevalent Wind is three of the table's wind, which can be seen on the center of the board. If the table wind is on East, for example, and you are also sitting on East and you have three East, you will have two Yaku because it is both the Prevalent Wind and the Seat Wind. Dragons are the red, white, and green tiles. If you have three of them, then you automatically have a Yaku. It doesn't matter whether it's open or closed. Next is Pinfu, and this is gonna be quite hard to explain. Some people call Pinfu all sequences, but that's not exactly the full story. The first thing to note is this is Menzenshin only, which means it's closed hand only. The requirements for you to form Pinfu is, yes, everything must be a sequence. However, the tiles that you are waiting must be a Diangmen weight. What is a Diangmen weight? Diangmen literally translates to two-face. As long as your winning tiles are two-faced and everything else is a sequence, you can get Pinfu. So if you just take a look at this example, we can divide the set into one, two, three, five, six, seven, two, three, four. The incomplete set is six, seven, and then the pair is nine, nine. Because the incomplete set is six, seven, it is possible to win on five to make five, six, seven, or it is also possible to win on eight, which makes six, seven, eight. So because you can win on five and eight, and it's a two-sided weight on the six and seven, that qualifies this hand for Pinfu. That is opposed to a 5-7, for example, because you're waiting the 6. This is not a Diangmen. Or if you have two pairs and you're waiting the triplet. That's not a Diangmen, and it's also not a sequence. If you have 1-2 or 9-8, you can only win on 3 or 7. That's not a Diangmen. If you're on Tanki, waiting just the pair and nothing else. That's not a Diangmen. However, if you had a hand like 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, where you could consider 2, 3, 4 a complete set, so you're waiting on the 5 and 6, which is a Diangmen, or you could consider 4, 5, 6 to be a complete set, and 2 and 3 is your Diangmen, you're in reality waiting for 1, 4, and 7. Because you can consider both of these Yangmen weights, despite you waiting for 1, 4, and 7, this is still Pinfu because they're both Yangmen weights. Next is E Pickle, or Pure Double Sequence. All you need for this one is an identical sequence and an identical suit. So here it looks like 5, 5, 6, 6, 7, 7, but in reality it's just 5, 6, 7, 5, 6, 7. The way the game automatically sorts things, you're basically gonna see E Pickle looking like this most of the time. Next is going to be Chang Khan, or Robbing a Khan. This one probably will not happen because it's extremely, extremely, extremely rare. You can basically only get this Yaku if you run someone on an added Khan, which is very specific. Next is Dinshan or after a Khan. Now the name in English after a Khan is actually kind of misleading because you can get this after more than just a Khan. So the basics is that every time you call a Khan, you have to draw an extra tile. If that extra tile that you draw is your winning tile, then you get Dinshan. That's not the only way to get it though, because when you're playing three player, you'll notice that there isn't a North seat. If you get the North wind tile, you can have the option to call pay. When you do this, you have to draw an extra tile. If that tile that you draw is your winning tile, that also counts as Dean Shan. Next, I'm gonna lump these two together. It's Hote and Haite, also known as Under the Sea or Under the River. Basically, if the last possible tile is your winning tile, then you will get one of these. Under the sea is if you draw the last tile yourself, and under the river is if the, someone discards the last tile. The final one Han Yaku we're gonna look at is Ipatsu. Ipatsu is only obtainable once you call Dichi. If within one round, you get your winning tile, that counts as Ipatsu. However, this can be intercepted by anyone calling anything. So if someone calls Polen, Chi, Hei, or Khan, you can no longer get Ipatsu. Next, let's take a look at the two Han Yaku. The first one is Double Reach 
reach. This is basically the same thing as the regular reach, but you will get two points for this reachy oh if you literally God. start oh. with the yeah, reach button. Boy. After that is going to be Sanshoku Doko or just Sanshoku. You can get this Yaku if you have three of the exact same triplets from all three suits. So in this example, it's 333 Man, 333 Pin, and 333 Soul. Next is Sankansu or three quads. So if you call Khan three times, it doesn't matter whether it's open or closed Khan, you will get Sankansu. And they don't have to be identical like this example either. Next is going to be Toy Toy or all triplets. A little bit misleading because you can actually call Khan, which is a quad, and it will still work. So as long as your hand is nothing but triplets or quads, you can get Toy Toy. Next is San Anko or three concealed triplets. This is when you have three triplets that you have obtained entirely by yourself. So you did not pawn to get these triplets. It does not matter if your hand is open as long as these three triplets are concealed. So for example, if I cheat this three, four, five, as long as these one, 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 and one, one, one over here, as long as all of these are concealed, this counts as Sanko. Next is Shosangen or Little Three Dragons. You must have two triplets of either the white, green, or red, but not all three in triplets. As long as you have two of these in triplets, doesn't matter whether it's open or closed, and you have a pair of the last one, this will count as Shosangen. Next is Honroto, or All Terminals and Honors. In order for you to get this one, your hand must consist of only triplets of all terminals or all Jihai tiles. So basically the complete opposite of all symbols. Next, this one is extremely important and it's Chi Toitsu or seven pairs. This is extremely, extremely easy to get and is a very easy way to get two Han. In order for you to get Chi Toitsu, your hand must consist of, as you can guess, seven pairs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, next is Chanta. And this one has an important note here called minus one Han after making a call. What does that mean? So first of all, a Chanta or half outside hand, in every single sequence or triplet here, it must have a terminal or a Jihai. So as you can see here, one, two, three has a one, seven, eight, nine has a nine, one, two, three, it has a one. This could be one, 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 and it would still count because it has a one in it. Then the rest are like east, 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 which is Jihai, and the pair is Hatsu Hatsu, which is also Jihai. If you get this hand entirely closed, it will be worth two Han. However, if you made a call at some point, then it will only be worth one Han. Next is Itsu or pure straight. This is fairly obvious. If you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine on the same suit, completely uninterrupted, then you will have two Han. However, again, if you make a call at any point, if I say, for example, this completely unrelated one, one, one over here, had I pawned this, then it would make the Itsu worth one Han only. Now keep in mind, the Itsu only counts if the sequence is completely uninterrupted. I cannot have one, two, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, for example. However, if I can get a completely uninterrupted sequence, these three other tiles could be like another 789, for example, and it would not affect this sequence because it has no effect on the flow. Next is going to be Sanshoku Dojun. You can get this Yaku if you have three identical sequences in three suits. So here there's one, two, three Man, one, two, three Ball, and one, two, three Stick. Once again, if you make a call, this will be minus one Han, so you only get one Han if your hand is open. Moving on to the three Han Yaku, the first is going to be Yang Peiko, or twice pure double sequence. Yang Peiko might look like seven pairs at first. However, you can also divide it like this. One, 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 two, three, one, two, three, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine. When you have two identical sequences of the same suit in your hand, that is worth Yang Peiko, which will give you three Han. Keep in mind, this is Men Zenshin only, so I cannot chi any of these sequences. Next is Junchan or fully outside hand. Remember how Chanta requires you to have a terminal or Jihai in every single set? Well, for Junchan, or in other words, your Chanta, you cannot have any Jihai. So every set here must have a terminal and no Jihai. So as you can see, one, two, three, where the one is the terminal, seven, eight, nine, nine is the terminal, one, two, three, one is the terminal, nine, 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 all terminals, and then one, one, all terminals. If your hand is completely closed, then this will be worth three Han. However, if you've taken anybody else's tiles, then it will be worth two Han. Next is another extremely important one, the Hoitsu or half flush. Your hand must consist of only one suit and Jihai. If your hand is closed, it will be worth three Han, but if it's open, it's going to be worth two Han. After the three Han Yaku, there are actually no four Han or five Han Yaku, but there is a single six Han Yaku, and that is the full flush or Chi Itsu. I don't think I have to say much about this. Your entire hand must consist of one suit. And if your hand is open, then it will be minus one Han. So you get five Han. There is one more extremely rare Yaku that you can get, and that is called Nagashi Mangan or Mangan at 
draw. In order to get Nagashi Mangan, every single one of the tiles that you have discarded must be a terminal or a jihai, and you cannot have any of your tiles be called by anyone else. Nagashi then by the Mangan. end of the game, where there are no tiles left, I'm gonna get Nagashi Mangan, which is basically equivalent to about four or five Han. Now, if you're paying attention, you would have seen these other things called local Yaku, and you'll also see these two over here called Yakuman and double Yakuman. I will not be covering what those are in this video. However, if you click the top video, I will be talking about local Yaku, and if you click the bottom video, I will be talking about Yakuman. Cheers!